My friends, it's that lovely time of the year where the new year is just upon us and I'm gonna do what we always do this time of year. Hauls at my favorite grocery store are showing you the top 10 things to buy for 2024. We're gonna kick off the series at Aldi. They have amazing deals on Bobby approved products. And then tomorrow and in the days coming, we're gonna to go to Walmart, Costco, Whole Foods and continue to do the top 10 series. Before we walk around and do what we always do, I also wanted to check out thrivemarket.com. Click on my link down below because Thrive is now an eight year supporter of my channel. But really the reason why I like them is pretty much anything you'd find in almost any grocery store is on Thrive Market and it's cheaper and the box comes to your door so you don't have to leave the house if you don't want to. And my link down below, gets you 30% off your first order and a free gift. And I have typed out a list of my favorite Bobby approved items, both food and personal care, and put it in the description box. So check it out. Now, let's go shopping. This is not just the best bread at Aldi. This is one of the best breads on the market for a ridiculous price. Say hello to Knock Your Sprouts Up. They have the regular and they have a low sodium if you're interested. Why is that important? Because sprouts, it's sprouted wheat. Sprouted wheat or sprouted grains are easier to digest and unlock more nutrition. Organic is very nice when it comes to wheat. Organic matters because sometimes they can use Roundup or glyphosate to dry out the wheat. What's so darn cool is organic sprouted wheat berries, millet, oats, and more. There's only one gram of added sugar in here. Is it cane sugar? Hex to the no, it's honey and molasses. Complex carbohydrate sprouted grain bread for 379 unbelievable deal. Kudos to Aldi. This is one of the best breads on the market. Wow, wow, wee wow. Not only is this the Bobby approved butter, but look at that saving. You're getting the Irish butter here for 219 for eight ounces. So long story short, Aldi used to have Kerrygold butter. They got rid of it. Well, devastating, right? But then they started carrying their version of Irish butter that it turns out they subcontracted from Kerrygold anyway, and it's cheaper. This is pure Irish butter that's 80% grass fed. Then during the winter in inclement weather, they give it grain, but it abides by Irish dairy law, which means that the grain is non GMO. This is fantastic. And the fact that it's on sale for 2.19 for eight ounces, compare that to the organic American style butter. It's 5.89 for 16 ounces. So basically for eight ounces, it'd be 2.90. This is 2.19. Irish or European butter is fattier. It has more fat than American butter. This is unbelievable. Load up and put this in your freezer. It's a great deal. Now, right next to it, is something that I love because I love a good hot dog once in a while. And it's so hard to see it. And I've been saying it for years now, organic uncured beef hot dogs is great, but in tiny, teeny, 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 tiny writing, 100% grass fed beef. These are grass fed, grass finished beef franks with epic ingredients here. It's not mystery meat. There is sugar in there, but it's less than one gram per link. We can handle that. Talk about classy seasonings like coriander and mace and not black pepper, quat pepper. That's super, super nice because when you compare the ingredients to anything else, I mean, this is $1.29, but this is literally mystery meat, lips, buttholes, and tendons. And if you just look at the first ingredients, mechanically separated chicken, pork, and water with a litany of preservatives. This is $4.89. This is winning the uh, ballpark frank game. A couple of years ago, Aldi got pasture raised chicken eggs. And that's a good thing because these are basically the equivalent of the black box of vital farms. And you get a dozen for $4.99. And I actually would prefer these pasture raised eggs over these organic eggs. Cause even though these are organic non GMO, these are still regular eggs that are either cage free or free range. They only live inside. Pasture raised chickens have to live outside most all the time and have 108 square feet per chicken. So they can't be factory farmed. This is really great. And science shows that pasture raised eggs, because they live outside and they eat bugs and worms and grass and they get more sunshine, they're more nutrient dense than organic free range or cage free. Cause there's nothing free range about free range. They never go outside. Pasture raised is where it's at. Hooray for Aldi for having it and hooray for $4.99. I've said it in the past, but never sleep on the coffee selection at Aldi. They have one of the best 
coffee selections at rock bottom prices. Now, coffee, I always like to get single origin because when you get something like a blend, it could be blends of beans from all over the world. You lose traceability and quality can go down. So single origin means like this, it's just from Guatemala, it's just from Colombia. And to get 12 ounces of single origin coffee for $5.45, it's a great deal. Now, if you want organic coffee, how about organic single origin Honduran coffee for $6.19? Now, keep in mind, coffee doesn't have to be organic. They don't really spray coffee beans and coffee plants with uh, pesticides because they're grown in sensitive areas like the rainforest. And coffee beans are also covered in a cherry that's very protective. But if you want to get organic, you can. Single origin is the way to go. Very high quality coffee. But don't think just because I said, oh, Bobby said organic single origin is good. Bobby didn't say K cups or pods are good because what have I said a million times over the years? These are always made of aluminum tops and plastic bodies. And in your cup of Joe, homie, don't play that game. So put this one back and stick with these bags. You know who also has really good coffee is Thrive Market. They have single origin coffee that's fantastic. And they have something that could be the best coffee creamer too Kiki Milk. The Kiki Milk Macadamia Nut Milk makes the best coffee creamer in Thrive Market. It's the only place where you can buy just one jug of it. Also on Thrive Market is my cereal of choice, Seven Sundays, that I enjoy on the couch at night for dessert when I'm watching Airline Disasters on Smithsonian Channel. So click my link down below. You can try all those items and get 30% off your first order and a free gift on Thrive Market. Long time watchers of the channel have seen me talk about this many times, but it's worth repeating. This is one of the best paleo cookies on the market. It's called a coconut cashew crisp sea salt caramel. When I saw it for the first time years ago, I'm like, it's not going to be a Bobby approved. It's going to have sugar and it's going to have natural flavors. Homie, don't play that game. It's made with real coconuts and cashews, sweetened with coconut sugar and bound together with cassava flour. But here's the amazing thing. The amount of sugar is so low. You can get eight cookies for six grams of added paleo coconut sugar per eight cookies. So it's less than one per. Unbelievable. Also, how about a three ounce packet for $2.69? And these are so indulgent for me. I can eat three with a little cup of tea or some coffee and be good to go. They usually have chocolate, which is good too. But if you scanned this one with the Bobby approved app, it's going to be not approved. Why? Because for some reason, instead of using vanilla extract, maybe it's too promising, they use natural vanilla flavoring in this one. So put this one down. And remember, when you're at the grocery store and you're in doubt because there's so many options, it's so confusing, just scan the barcode with the Bobby approved app. It's my free app for Android or iOS. It will tell you if the ingredients are Bobby approved. It'll highlight the bad ones. If you click on the bad ones, it'll tell you why that ingredient's bad. And better yet, it'll give you a better suggestion. It's pretty much like having me go shopping with you at the store. I'm for sure going to put a few of these into the Bobby approved bag and longtime viewers have seen me use this for years and you wouldn't expect a pre-made bag of grains to be good quality, but it is. And it's a time saver because this bag here is quinoa and brown rice, which is complex carbohydrates. I use it as a quick side dish all the time, but to see it packed in organic extra virgin olive oil, real garlic and salt and that's it without seed oils or natural flavors is amazing. This is an 8.8 .8 ounce packet for $2.29. Do you know how much time it would take you to boil quinoa, boil brown rice and then season it and make it? You just throw this into a pan, preferably the Flav City ceramic nonstick pan with a little bit of bone broth and salt. It's delicious. Also the seven grains is delicious too if you want gluten, but scan the Basmati rice home with the Bobby approved app. It's not going to work because of sunflower oil. I've said it many times, but this ground beef at Aldi is such a great deal. You're getting organic, 100% grass fed, grass finished ground beef, 85.15 for 5.19. That's one of the best deals, unless they have their family pack sometimes with Aldi Find. By that, it's even cheaper. It's sub $5. And here's the crazy thing 5.19 for a pound. This is 85.15 regular, what I call factory farm beef. That's $4.99 a pound. So for 20 cents more, you're getting pasture raised grass fed beef compared to GMO factory farm beef. Studies show and the fact is grass fed beef has more nutrition for you. It's better for the environment and I only eat grass fed beef at home. You make some burgers out of this. You make some meatloaf. Fantastic price, fantastic quality. This my friends is pasta night done right for really budget. Number one, pasta. 
I always say if you're gonna eat carbs, make sure they count. So I like complex carbohydrates. They don't, I repeat, they don't get more complex than chickpea rotini or chickpea penne. Why? Because chickpeas are nutrient dense, complex carbohydrates. And to be honest, I can't even eat chickpea pasta anymore. Why? Because a one cup serving has 11 grams of fiber and 19 grams of protein. The protein I can handle. I've been trying to gain weight. Actually, I've gained about 16 pounds the last seven months. It's worked pretty well. But 11 grams of fiber is too much. When I eat this kind of pasta, my stomach actually hurts. There's so much fiber in this, I oftentimes joke, when you finish with your pasta, don't stray too far from the toilet because it's a lot of fiber, but it's very nutrient dense. If you want traditional pasta, organic linguine is nice, but I prefer the whole wheat organic pasta because the whole grain has more fiber, it's more nutrient dense. So you have your pasta, 269 or 199, then we need our sauce. And yes, they have Rayo's, which is one of my favorite sauces, but it's expensive. $1.99 for organic tomato basil sauce. That's perfectly Bobby approved. Tomato puree, diced tomatoes, organic onions. What kind of oils in here? There's not even an oil. One of these does have oil. Hold on. Marinara sauce. Wow, all their sauces have no oils. Well, that's totally fine. And yes, it's made of tomato puree. That's tomato paste reconstituted with water, which I don't love because quality-wise, it's not as good as whole peel tomatoes. But we're talking still Bobby approved at $1.99. So this makes enough for what? Four servings. This makes enough for about four servings. You get four servings of pasta for $2 plus two. A dollar? ish a serving to two dollars a serving for pasta done right come on now i'm going to show you a good deal on organic bobby approved cheese you make a sandwich for lunch or send your kid to school how about organic colby jack cheese now here's the deal it's 235 for the packet the regular colby jack cheese is 189 so it's a little more expensive but in my opinion it's worth it why because the conventional milk cheese comes from cows that eat gmo soy and corn while this is organic that means the feed is still corn and soy and grains but it has to be organic non-gmo this is nice this is sliced because when you get these shredded ones it's coated in that cellulose which i don't like and this is a special one for the kids because if you send your kids to school with string cheese well back in my day we didn't have organic string cheese back in my day we trudged eight miles to school in snow now you all get to go in fancy electric cars and why yada yada and you get fancy organic string cheese why is that nice because it's the same ingredients as the other one but at least it's organic non-gmo 369 versus 319 a little more but it's worth it in my opinion all right friends that is it for the top 10 things to get at aldi for 2024 Aldi is not like it used to be 10 years ago. They have really great products that are Bobby approved at rock bottom prices. Speaking of great prices, do check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. 30% off your first order and a free gift. And I made that list of all my favorite items in the description box. Tomorrow and in the coming days, we're gonna continue the series of what to buy at my favorite grocery stores in 2024. Walmart's coming up, Costco, Whole Foods, and a bunch more except for Trader Joe's because they're on my band list because they kept kicking me out all these years. They get no more love. From Aldi, I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love, peace, bye.